Hey Apostronauts, how's it going? This is Apostro T bringing you a new video. As you can see, I'm in uh, the library. I've got a book here, level 30. We're going to check out and see what we're going to get. Hopefully we get something good. Alright, uh, alright. Big money. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep bringing the book up and down for about 30 or 40 seconds, just randomly. And one, two, three, buckle your shoe. I don't know. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a digger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Out goes Y O U. That was lame. <laughs> yeah, pretty lame. <laughs> that was pretty lame, but whatever. Let's see what we get. Uh, we want 30, of course. Boom. Power three. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> pretty loser. Anyways, so. The reason why I went to the library is because there has been a recent update that came out, and apparently um, they made it so you can trade with librarians to unlock um, name tags. And I was trying to do that, but it was hard. I mean, I never got it. I got, I don't know how many clocks, 17 clocks, and tons of compasses and everything. I'm going to have to keep working on these guys and grinding them and trying to get those name tags so I can name some of my horses. And apparently they fixed the issue with the horses despawning, which is nice. I'm going to suit up my armor here so when we go outside we don't get it killed. And uh, we're going to go in, go in for a quick tour of town, but first we're going to go take a look at Mount Beardbore at night. Oh, such a beautiful sight. <laughs> As you can see, I've been fighting some withers. You saw me kill two of them the other day. So now we got one, two, three, four beacons set up in town uh, with speed and jump boost. So anywhere is pretty much in town. Oh, a skelly. Skelly wants to die. Let's see if I can snipe him. Boom. Damn. All right. Two shots. Not bad. All right. Right in the kisser. Right in the kisser. All right. So we're going to go into the town here and... Just run around, I'll show you the beacon locations. And uh, first one we put in was inside of the tower, which I thought was cool. And uh, that one stretches and hits some of my house, which you're not going to get to see yet. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll do a tour of my house. I doubt it. Ladoons is pretty private. So the first one goes through here. Um, it goes all the way up into the quick drop system. So if you ever get lucky enough to play in our world... If you're going to jump down, make sure you don't jump in the middle because there's a piece of glass there and you'll probably get hurt. Most of the time I usually ender pearl or whatever, but you just got to make sure that you go to this side and then splash. <laughs> that's the quick way down. Anywho, and the door keeps the watering. So that's the first location. Um, then we decided to, uh, the next one we did, I think we put over by the burn so we could do quicker farming. And uh, that way you get the speed to get around town real quick, too. It doesn't really make you farm faster, but it does make you get around quicker to go to the chests and whatnot. And this one stretches and touches the hospital as well. Uh, we then did... Ladooms uh, tore down that other tree because the buddy was playing never came back. And he started making his own tree, and we put one inside there. So that one stretches and touches Brodus's tower a little bit. And it goes over uh, to the shop area over here. And then we have one, another one by our house, which kind of stretches so we can almost everywhere is in our house. We can have the speed to effect for faster travel. One thing I noticed, though, is on speed two, when you're especially if you're sprinting, your hunger goes down a lot faster. But that's OK. It's an even trade off. I mean, we got lots of food, so I think it's pretty fair trade. This is what the city looks like at nighttime. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's go in the house here for a second. Psych. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> no dice. No dice today. I actually evicted someone else as well because they haven't played my game in over two months. So I do have a free house opened up here. This nice, luxurious, modern house is free. Freed up for someone if they want to claim it. And, uh, yeah, so some of the new updates, I guess they took away some of the bugs and, um, uh, they added uh, the fact that witches are supposed to be able to spawn anywhere. So I did try to test that earlier up at my, uh, XP farm, but I didn't see any witches. I only went up there and got the quick level 30 so I could enchant the book there for the video. And I didn't see any witches, but hopefully the, the spawn rates will increase on witches so we can get them to spawn and their inner trap would be perfect because... They drop glowstone and redstone and lots of good stuff for potions and whatnot. 
<clears throat> Anyways, I just wanted to make a quick video, nothing too long, just to put something out there. Hopefully I'll start making some more videos so you guys can be, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, all my Aprostronauts out there, thanks again guys for watching. I want to shout out again to Whiskey Lung for all the help he gives me. And uh, also all my Aprostronauts, Anthony, uh, Allison, and Cameron, you guys are awesome. Keep uh, watching the videos, please. And if you want to see a video about something, just comment in the comments and I'll try to do it. Eventually, once I get name tags, I'd like to name some horses and build a, a stables. I'm going to probably do a stables outside the city here and one outside my other city. And I'll continue to work on those tunnels and stuff like that. I've been playing on the PC a little bit, Minecraft, and I've been neglecting my Xbox for a while. So, got to get, get back into it here. Anyways, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Uh, thanks for being a prostronauts. Peace.